sings at the Tipton. Over, and you're almost out. <laughs> he didn't show. I was so looking forward to show. Did he promise? I got a band. And it's a very pretty band, too. <laughs> I mean, we can't get upset every time he can't make it when he promises to. I'm upset. Come on, come on. Give us a smile. No. Come on, just a little smile. Come on. So this is what we're going to do this time. And I saw Phil already. I told him we're going to let him in in a minute. Okay. Usually I have the guests first, but this time we have us. So it's exciting <laughs> that he's going to be here. Oh, man. Yay. Lewis is going to be here. Lewis in the house. In the house. What's going on? Yay. Let him in. I mean, we love Bill Lewis is one of the ni nicest people. I mean, he, I mean, I, he's, I, I'm just going to let him in. We know the yeah. actor, the director, the wonderful, the wonderful Phil Lewis. Phil Lewis. Hey, how are you? Oh. Hey, you my favorite. Oh, oh, my Thank you. Thank you. I'm good. You fantastic. Oh, oh, I so, so appreciate that. I so, so appreciate that. I love Sweet Life of Zach and Cody and Sweet Life of Zach, by the way, and oh, the way. Me too. Oh. Yeah. And, and my, my my two favorites Mr. is Moses. clubs and friends. <laughs> and friends. <laughs> Can Whoa, I be you, guys, <laughs> you must have done. <laughs> you must have done some research. <laughs> <laughs> I've been coming you. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. This is fantastic. Thank you so much. It's such an honor. Such an honor. I'm a little mute here because I hear some echoes here just on a few people yeah i hear the echo well, we yeah will, i do we, too we will we yeah. will get this working out here phil i have to say that you are one of the nicest people in hollywood i mean <laughs> the first time i met you you have this smile that is like amazing <laughs> and then your, your soul is connected to that smile so it's uh -huh. like, thank you well, thank you. I so appreciate it. And I must say, David, I appreciate everything you've done. This is a mutual admiration society. I appreciate everything that you have done. And when, uh, to a little backstory, when David and I first met, we met at a birthday party and he started telling me about uh, what he does and what he has done in his illustrious career. Uh, and um, I had mentioned that uh, uh, my one of my daughters um, works um, in different organizations and works with young kids and she's 19 she's a young kid herself but um, uh, you know I guess what I'm trying to say is that we're a family hopefully of givers 
Uh, and uh, David and I were kind of kindred spirits because he's also obviously a giver. Um, and he has kept me in the loop on everything that you guys are doing. Uh, I was able to see the Christmas show, which, which was so much fun. And it was so great to just sit and watch. But I must tell you, I brought my daughter and one of her friends from out of town. And we just laughed and laughed and laughed. Uh, after the show, we went out to dinner and we were talking about all of the great things that happened. So we were so excited to be a part of it. And I'm glad that David has brought me into this family and community. So thank you, David, for all that you're doing. Thank, thank you. I mean, uh, it was, you know, and so many people mentioned too, oh my God, Phil Lewis was out there. <laughs> like Adam and, and uh, BJ and uh, I, I had a, a couple of questions and what I'm going to do is go around. Uh, also, everybody has questions. So, uh, you know, I might uh, throw out a question then we'll get Jennifer or Ashley or um, what, how did, when did you know you wanted to be in the entertainment in, industry? Well, I started at a very young age. I was actually 10 years old when I did my first professional job. So a little backstory is that I grew up in Washington, D.C. Um, and uh, I was always doing school plays. I, I did school plays and school musicals. And I was very fortunate to go to a school where they really valued uh, uh, the arts and they really valued kids getting into uh, the arts or just using it as a, a way to express ourselves because you know we we sit in classrooms we go to school we do our work we want to get the best education that we possibly can or now we we are homeschooled or some of you may have been homeschooled anyway we want to get the best education we possibly can but what is that fulfillment outside of education part of it some of it can be education of course um but what is that fulfillment that is uh, fulfills the creative side so i was very fortunate that um uh the creative side was what um spoke to me so at 10 years old i auditioned for a show and uh, i ended up getting i was an understudy for one of the characters in the show and the show was at ford's theater and we could do a Q&A if anybody knows what happened at Ford's Theater. Uh, if you do, you can raise your hand or you can tell David or me later. But Ford's Theater is a very historic theater in Washington, D.C. And that was where I did my first production. So to answer your question, I knew very young. And once I got on that stage, it, it just, uh, it felt, I know this sounds like a cliche, but it really felt like home. I felt like I was in my element. I felt like I could express myself. And I was having so much fun which is probably the, the biggest part of it, because I was a 10 year old kid. What do we want to do? We want to have fun. Right. So I was having so much fun while I was there that I knew, honestly, I knew at that moment that this is something that I wanted to pursue uh, for the rest of my life. So, you know, and I'm a little bit older than 10 years old now, but not much. Don't let the gray hair fool you. Not, not, no, I mean, <laughs> I think what, you look like 11 or 12 right now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so that's how I got my start. Oh, I love it. I love it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go to Ron Johnny next. I'm going to ask to unmute you for a question. Okay. I'm the biggest fan of your work, of the twins you've been working with. So what is your favorite funniest moment on the Sweet Love on that or, or Sweet Love on Cody with oh. The twins. Oh my word! I well, I'm going to tell you this to start off. So we did 187 episodes of both shows. So we did um, about half of each. So it was you know a lot of episodes of Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, and a lot of episodes of Sweet Life on Deck. And it was really amazing because I started with those guys um, when they were 11 years old. Um, so about, like I said, the age that I was starting, uh, my career way back when they were the same age. However, they had worked quite a bit because they had done, um, a movie called Big Daddy with Adam Sandler. Um, they were also on Friends. Um, actually, uh, correct. I think it was just Cole who was on Friends. Cole, I don't think, yeah. yeah, I don't think Dylan was ever on Friends, I think. No. But a lot of times, as you guys may or may not know, when there are twins working in the business, they'll use twins um, as one character 
and um, they'll, if they're identical, they'll swap them out. So maybe Cole will work Monday, Wednesday, Friday on a yeah. movie, and Dylan will play that same character on Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> so they swap them out. So Sweet Life wow. of Zach and Cody was the first time they had acted together as wow. brothers on screen. Yeah. Wow. So, one of the one of the funny because they really are identical and and now you can certainly see the differences as they've gotten older but um when we first started they're completely identical mm -hmm. so i knew uh, and and at one point they were dressing exactly the same so i knew i had said i got there in the morning got to the studio got my script and started uh walking towards uh dylan and i said good morning dylan and he said good morning and then i went and i got some coffee and i saw cole and i said good morning cole and he looked at me and he said i'm dylan and i went wait a second didn't i just see dylan in the hallway no i don't think he did so then i went back into the hallway and who's standing in the hallway and i said hey dylan didn't i just see you by the coffee and he said no i'm cole they were playing a joke on me they would move <laughs> they would switch themselves and they would run from one place to the next and they would make themselves the other person. And sometimes they would just say, no, I'm Cole, but they were really Dylan. So, <laughs> your so funniest was, moments of the, your favorite scenes make me, me start laughing. So what's so, your favorite funny ones? So some of the funniest moments that I had on the show, one was, if you remember when we went to the baseball game, Oh yeah, I remember we were that. out in the stands in the baseball game, that was so much fun to shoot because I got to, catch a baseball in the stands. Um, and definitely and, have a ballerina <laughs> move. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I did the ballerina <laughs> stretching, you know. They, they yeah. said it, I, it was time for the seventh inning stretch and I started stretching. <laughs> <laughs> so those, those were really fun to do. But a lot of the fun stuff was um, doing things that you don't normally get to do. So, you know, I, I love baseball, so I get to go to a lot of baseball games, but there's some things that I certainly never get to do. Like one that we had um, on Sweet Life on Deck, we oh, had a yeah. hundred. We had a hundred snakes. Remember snakes on a boat? Oh, where yeah, all the right, snakes right. came onto the boat. Yeah. So we had somebody bring in a hundred snakes, and we had to use them in different scenes. And then one of the snakes crawled through my legs. Oh, <laughs> and then another, a little garden snake that popped out of my lapel. Like. <laughs> So those were, and, and then at the end of that episode, Cole had the big python wrapped around him uh, oh. at the end of that episode. Yeah. So we had a lot of fun on that show. We had a great time. And then we had a lot of fun off the set too. We would spend some holidays together. They would come over and hang out with us. So it was such a great time. We had so much fun. In fact, while we're here, let's see what I have. I know my favorite girl from Sweet on Deck is Lynn Tipton. I love, London. I love her. London. I love her. I love her. Look, can you see that? Mr. Mosby. I love it. It's one of my name tags. <laughs> <laughs> I have my name. Oh, and look, and I also have from Sweet Life, uh, from uh, Zach and Cody. This was the front, the, the bell at the front a desk. bell. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that great? I love it. When yeah. you were Mr. Mo uh, Mosby in the su sweet life of Zach and Cody, that's so rare. Right. The sweet life on deck, which, I mean, uh, Hannah Montana. And definitely Jesse. <laughs> that's right. So, so what, David, what David's bringing up is what we called crossover episodes. <laughs> so Ooh. what we would do, so we were on the Disney Channel, and, of course, there was Wizards of Waverly Place. There was Hannah Montana. There was Jesse. That's, that Jesse, there was that so Raven, but even before Jesse, we would do what they call crossover. Yeah, but episodes. even before Jesse, oh, I got oh, sorry, it was me. <laughs> that was me. No, there was, um, I know, there was a little echo. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we would do is eat our characters would go on to different shows, and I don't, I think one of them was called uh, my daughters always remember it. Uh, that's so sweet life of Hannah Montana, I think. And I think that was yeah. that's so Raven, sweet life in Hannah Montana, all of us together. Um, wow. and that, those were so much fun. Um, so yeah, so my character kind of 
was able to move throughout in different uh, in different shows. So it was just a really great time. And it's so nice that you guys watched it and so many other people watched it um, because it really does warm my heart when when people uh, recognize me from the show. So. When the Sweet Life's gonna come back together again? I miss uh, that. I, I miss it too. I would love that to happen. The, the Dylan and Cole are off doing, of course, Cole is on Riverdale now. Yeah. Um, and Dylan is doing some movies for Netflix. And then uh, Brenda, who plays London, she also did a movie for Netflix. They're all really busy. And then of course, Debbie Ryan just got married and she wants to start a family. So it's a, uh, it would be kind of hard to get us all together, but, uh, but I will, I, when I do talk to them, I will let them know that I've seen all of you guys and uh, that you guys yeah. are very important to our fan base. So thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank oh. you. Yeah, so <laughs> hey, what about BJ? Let's see BJ, what, what questions do you have today? Um, hello, thank you, David. And Mr. Phil Lewis, I am such a huge fan of you because I have watched all of your show since I was a kid. Like, you are so funny. And, <laughs> and like, you played the best character of on in the hotel. And uh, and uh, I want to ask you a question. Like, sure. like, for at the end of the show, uh, The Sweet Life of uh, Zach and Coley, and then when you started when Disney started making the Sweet Life on Deck, how was it like when you and you you and Dylan Dylan and Cole was back together? Like, how did they make you feel like like that y'all was back together, make another show together? Oh, that's a great question, and we were so excited to do the other show. I mean, really, I kid you not. We um we had about I think three or four months. Uh, between the end of Sweet Life of Zach and Cody and the beginning of Sweet Life on Deck. So we weren't sure what was going to happen. We knew that they, the Disney Channel wanted to do what they call a spinoff. They wanted to do another show with, uh, with Dylan and Cole. And they wanted uh, Dylan and Cole and uh, my character, Mr. Mosby, and they wanted London. So the, how are we going to get them all together in a different venue? And they came up with, uh, quote unquote, semester at sea. Of course, we, you know, three years is a little longer than a semester, but, <laughs> but we called it a semester at sea. So, um, so w the good news was that we all kept in touch throughout that time. Um, we would still hang out. We would, you know, go out and try and get dinner every now and again. Um, I, uh, we took Brenda to the Hollywood Bowl to see a show. Mm -hmm. Um, so we would all kind of hang out. So it was good. It wasn't like we hadn't seen each other in that time, but the reunion was fantastic because we hadn't all been together uh, since we ended uh, Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. So funny story, um, the executive producer called me and he said, so we've written the first episode of Sweet Life on Deck. And I, he said, I want to tell you what happens. And I said, okay, great. So he says, um, so you're running the the ship and you're very excited because uh london's going to be on the ship and it's mr tipton's ship and you're very excited there's not a care in the world and then the next thing you know you turn around and there are the twins and he says and then you're so upset that you immediately jump off the boat <laughs> right and so i said well that sounds really fun but as an actor who wants to do multiple episodes i said to him do I get back on the boat? <laughs> I said, you, I'm not just swimming away, am I? <laughs> Why? He said, no, of course, you're back on the boat and you have to run the ship with these two, as they say, as I used to say, two hooligans running around my hotel <laughs> or running around my sky deck. <laughs> yes. so, um, um, so it was so much fun to do. And that's another thing. Um, uh, going off of what Ranjani, what we were talking about, um, that uh, we had a lot of stunts and a lot of things. So when I jumped off the ship, then if you remember, they pick me up in a, a life vest and they lift me out of the water above the, the and they land. So they had to put a harness on me and, and they had to do a whole rig to get me off the, back on the boat. So, um, uh, but it was so much fun. We, you know, we really, we knew we, we wanted to do a spinoff, 
Um, but uh, we weren't sure how they were going to make it happen, but they, they did. And I think they did it pretty successfully. Nice. Um, Amazing. And um, yeah. uh, one more question. Um, sure. I know that I remember that, um, that you also played on the movie with uh, Beverly Hills with the Chihuahua dogs. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I was so surprised of seeing you as the judge when you <laughs> play as the and we were playing the judge for the dogs and and the, your character is still just like Mr. Mosley. And right. also how yeah. was it how was it when you when you're in the in the crew with George Lopez too uh -huh. that plays a scene as a dog. Yes. Yes, yes. So what's interesting when you do um, when you do either voiceovers or anime, you know, cartoons, things that are animated, um, yeah. or when you're working with um, uh, with animals, um, what happens is they will have somebody who's on set who will read the voice, read those characters' voices, and then the re the actors that are actually doing the voices. So, for example, George doing the voices, they're recording in a studio. Um, so I didn't work with them directly on set. I've, I've met George Lopez a couple of times. He's a really, really nice guy. Um, yeah. In fact, my oldest daughter and his, uh, I think he has more than one daughter, but at least his oldest daughter were in school together. She's uh, about a year older than my oldest daughter. So I had known George for quite a while. But so I didn't get a chance to, to, to work with him directly, um, but I'm such a huge fan. And that's a... a a show a movie where they said we kind of want kind of a Mr. Mosby character. Would you be willing to do that? And I was like, of course. <laughs> so, hopefully yeah. that answers your question. It was so much fun. Well, um, I I have a question in the sense of, um, do you like do you prefer acting or directing? Ooh, that is a very good question. It, you know, it's hard. It's kind of like apples and oranges. Now. I was directing um, a show last night. By the way, have you guys seen the, uh, well, I'll ask anyway. It may be a little too old for you guys. There's a movie called Night School with Kevin Hart. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that, that movie? So. Okay, well, I just finished shooting the pilot TV show. They're taking that movie and making it into a TV show. Fingers crossed, oh, hopefully they'll really actually good. make it. But we shot the pilot uh, last night, as a matter of fact. Um, so uh, it's it doesn't star Kevin Hart, although Kevin Hart did come to the set. I was so excited. <laughs> come on, it was Kevin Hart. Um, Kevin Hart did uh, come to the set, and I was directing the episode. Um, and so we did what's called a pilot. If you guys don't know, a pilot is the the prototype, the first episode of a show, and then they test it. They show it to people. They say, "Do you like this?" or "Don't you like this?" And then if every if, a lot of people say we love it. They go, okay, let's shoot more episodes. So um, I, I say all that to say I was talking with another a writer who was an actor, and we both looked at each other and said, "Man, wouldn't it be great to be back in front of the camera again?" <laughs> so you know, there we have mo. I have moments where I just love, and I do get in front of the camera every now and again, or I do get on stage every now and again. But um, there are moments where I just really love that creative energy of being on stage, uh, you know, working with actors as an actor, but my creative energies are fulfilled as a director. So, um, you know, I, I'm, it's kind of apples and oranges. Being a director is a lot harder because you have to kind of oversee everything. As an actor, you're just, you know, you're responsible for your character and working with those other actors. But as a director, you're kind of, your, your head's kind of swimming because you're kind of overseeing everything. But, you know, as long as I'm, happy, I'm healthy and I'm working, you know, I'll take either side of the camera. Well, I have to say we have we have somebody who you directed uh, in um, an episode who also interviewed you, uh, Miss Santina Muha. Santina. <laughs> 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 